Hello everybody, here's another quick webmaster lesson for the develop PHP miscellaneous video tutorial section and I have to be sure all of my webmaster friends are up on the latest trends in web marketing. So if you're interested in marketing, web exposure, getting more traffic, making more money, and search engine optimization, then the following free information is made just for you. And if you like helping your friends that own websites, be sure and share this video with them. Guru is undergoing an experiment with a gadget titled the plus one button, which is Guru's way of allowing people online to give their stamp of approval for content they deem worthy. It's a widget that runs much like the Facebook like button widget. When you see the like button on various pages on various websites, it's much like that, but it's Google's version of that. So you put the plus one button on your page, and all that have a Google account can plus one or recommend your pages to others online. This button also appears next to search engine listings for people who are logged into their Google account, making its usage and appearance that much more active. First, we'll show you how this looks to a person logged into their Guru account when they search for information in Guru. I'm going to search for develop space PHP and hit enter. Hey, you don't even have to hit enter nowadays, it's great. Now you can see the plus one button shows up under every page results whether it's my page or not and I can plus one any websites right here in the search engine results any ones that I want and if you happen to search for develop PHP and you're logged into your Google account you'll see that plus one button there and you should hit it and you can see I hit these three links already and it says you plus one this now I'll show you what these same results look like to somebody who's not logged into their Google account. I'll just pull open Safari or something. Right now I'm in Chrome, but I'll open up Safari. And I'm not logged in using Safari. I'm not logged into Google. And I'm going to type in develop space PHP. And you can see here's the results. And there's no plus one button because I'm not logged in. But if I happen to click on this page, I already placed it into this page so you'll see it show up right here and even though I'm not logged in what I'll get from Google is them asking me to create an account or log into my Google account so I can plus one this now that's somebody who's not logged into their Google account what it does is recommend them to either log into their Google account or create a Google account if they don't have one yet so they can plus one this page and I'm going to be showing you guys how to sync this into your pages. I'll show you the code needed. Now let's take a look at what it looks like to somebody who is logged in and they happen to land on a page where this little widget is showing. Okay, here I am at the PHP programming course at developphp.com and here's the plus button button that is rendering on the page and I'm going to click it and I'm logged in right now so it plus one that and on my Google account it's going to record and render that within my Google account. So anybody that's a friend of mine at Google and other people that have Google accounts will see the plus one or potentially see the plus one. Similar to the way Facebook like works, which you can see I have a play right here. So this is what it looks like when you program it into your pages directly. So finally, we'll show you the simple code needed to apply it to your pages the way I applied it to mine. Now, applying this to any web page that you want is very, very simple. So what you can do is go into your head tag and place this little bit of code. So here's just a little comment. And there's only two steps to this. And this is the first step. You place this in the head tag or anywhere in your body tag where script tags can process. So what that means is this doesn't really have to be in your head tag. It could be anywhere down in your body tag that you want to put it. But we'll just leave it in the head tag for this example. And now step two is you simply apply this line of code here. And you add this to your body tag where you wish it to render. So anywhere in your page, any kind of table container or div container, anywhere you want this little widget to appear is where you put this code. So you can see the G plus one tag. It has a few parameters that you can set. The first one is size and I'll discuss the four different sizes that you can set. The second parameter we have in place is the count which can be true or false if you want to show the count or not. And the next one is href which is equal to whichever page that you want this widget to affect or be on. 
the href is the page which people are to plus one. Whichever page you want people to plus one, whichever page this is going on, is the page in the website that you put here in the href. Now there's one more parameter that you can put in optionally that is a callback. It's called callback and that's equal to a JavaScript callback function. But most people wouldn't have the need for that unless you're getting into complex things with the API. Now we'll discuss this size parameter because this one could have four different values. The first one being small or you can put medium. You can also put standard the way I had it and tall. Those are the four values that you can define for the size parameter. I'll just leave mine as standard. And that's it. I'll have this code up at the page on PHP where this video is rendering right under the video in case any of you guys would just want to copy and paste it if you have any trouble seeing it, the code in the video. Okay, we'll talk to you next time. Goodbye.